What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and this is the first video that you're ever watching from me, welcome. My name is Lauren. Welcome. And if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. So today's video is the most important video I think I'm ever gonna post ever because who doesn't love room tours especially when you redo your whole entire room spend way too much money on decorations and furniture and now I get to showcase it all for you guys so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna be showing you my whole entire new room and I'm not actually at my house right now because I'm filming this part way later then I film into my actual room tour. So this is not my house, but a little unfitting for this video to be filming my room tour in not my room, but you know, it's okay. I am going to link every single thing that I can find on the internet that I mentioned in this video in the description box. So if you wanna go find something and buy something that I have in my room, make sure you check in the description. I'm going to try my hardest to get everything in the description box for you guys with links and everything like that to help you. Without further ado, welcome to my crib. facing my wall right now but are you ready for the big review this is what my room looks like when you first walk in I guess we can just start over here um, this is my door to the outside this is our backyard like around the corner right here so I have my own door that I can go in and out of to get to my car or you know if I don't want to go through the whole house <laughs> So right here, I just keep my keys usually because I don't want to have them just laying around or else I'll probably lose them. Um, these curtains I had to get because these windows literally came with no curtains. And this one also, this is my bedroom door. And if you can see, it's literally a window. So I had to solve that and get some blackout curtains. These ones are from Amazon. They were like $15 for both of them. They're just this white one, these white ones, and these... For this one, I just keep it like hanging like that. For this one, I usually tie because since it's blackout, it like lets no light in when it's down. So in the mornings, I tie it up right there. At night, I take out the little hair tie and let it cover my window. So yeah, Um, next over here, I have this little wall that I really didn't know what to hang on. So I have my little Adidas hat because I have nowhere else to put it. And then I also have a couple little dream catchers that I've got a long time ago. This is actually from Marshalls and it was like $12 and they're usually like 20 something dollars if you buy them from the actual store. So yeah. <laughs> so this little one was a gift. This big one was also a gift. So I actually have no idea where they're from. I'm sorry. But I also have my little graduation tassel that used to be white and blue, which it's kind of still light blue a little bit, but it now it just looks white. So I'm confused. Like, I don't know if the sun faded it or whatever but that's this little wall over here now on to the rest of my room so over here i just have a um mirror closet door setup kind of thing this is obviously my closet blah blah you guys don't need to see in there because that's a whole another story so over here on this wall hi that's me are these two little cactus pictures and now that I'm looking at it the bottom one's crooked and my OCD is not having it that's for sure is that better I think so but these two little pictures are from TJ Maxx or Ross I'm not sure which one but they were like $20 for both of them and me and my sister were there and she literally wanted to buy them too so we would have matched but she didn't get them so I just got them they're just little cacti and very cute and <clears throat> right beneath it I just keep my backpack and my purse um, my hydro flask and my tripod that I haven't used in a while so it just sits in the corner right there on uh, my backpack and my back my two backpacks actually <laughs> but my purse and my backpack and my flask right there for just like easy access so I can grab and go in the mornings because that's what I you know try to do try to not stall but you know right here on the floor is my little mini jute rug so cute i got this from world market okay guys my obsession is world market lately they have the cutest things and i know this looks a little weird like sitting right here but i 
I have nowhere else to put it. Like if I put it here, it clashes with that. And I'll talk about that later, but yeah. So it just sits in front of my dresser because <laughs> I don't know where else to put it, but it's just so cute. And I've wanted a rug like this really badly. Um, most people say jute rugs like aren't very comfortable, but this one is honestly not that rough. Like some are really hard to step on and it just hurts your foot. But these ones aren't uncomfortable. They're pretty cool. So yeah, above that, I just have this dresser set. This is from Ikea, the famous, what's it called? Mall? Mal dresser, maybe? For the four drawer dresser. I'll have everything that I can find in the description box for you guys so you can just get quick, quick links to everything that I talk about in this video. But yeah, this is the four dresser set. and Four drawer, sorry, set. And then I also, this didn't come with it, but this glass piece on top is also from Ikea and this is like $20. It's just like a little ex extension that you can get. Um, just makes the top a lot nicer and shiny and it just really makes a huge difference on the dresser. Well, let me tell you that. <laughs> and then my phone just usually sits up here sometimes. Sometimes not. This salt lamp has been in my room forever. It's traveled from room to room. This was my sister's from a long time ago, so I can't really take credit for it or else she's gonna fight me. But yeah, this was hers. I don't know where she got it, but they literally sell salt lamps like everywhere now. So yeah, that's just my salt lamp. And honestly, the batteries are worn out now, so I can't even turn it on anymore. <laughs> so now it's really just salt rock because it's not really a lamp anymore. In here, I just have some accessories like necklaces bracelets earrings and my sunglasses guys i just got these the other day tell me they're not the cutest thing ever they're just from francesca's they're so cute these are like date night earrings or like church earrings but <laughs> yeah i haven't worn them yet but i really want to go somewhere that i can wear them because they're the cutest things ever and i also got some little and i also just got some little like basic ones because i needed some ones for my second piercings so yeah, moving on. This is fake plant number one of the room. <laughs> this one's from Target. Um, don't really know what kind of plant this is, if I'm gonna be quite honest, but it was the cutest one and it was on sale. So it just looks like this and it has like these striped leaves. Um, yeah, I really love it. This was the first fake plant, sorry. This was the first fake plant I ever had in my room. So fave, love this. Right next to it is all my mess, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this just has like my perfumes, my skincare, my brush, my glasses, um, deodorant, a bunch of random stuff that I use like every single day, my Laneige lip mask, and yeah, everything for just quick grab and go access, like I said before. Um, these three little wooden piece set came from Ikea, and I didn't really know what I was going to use them for when I first bought them, but I was like, I know I'm going to need new storage in my room because I have so much random stuff everywhere. These came in handy so much. So I'm so glad that I have these to use because they just keep everything so confined and like not everything is all over the place like it has been normally in my room. <laughs> so the first drawer, I just have all my bottoms, my Nike Pros, and my leggings. Yes, I fold my clothes like this now. Literally Marie Kondo changed my life. If you haven't watched her like clean decluttering series on YouTube, definitely go watch it because it'll change your life too. This just has all my sleep shirts, my sweats, and my like sleep shorts and athletic shorts and stuff like that. This drawer I don't really want to open because it's just a bunch of random stuff. Like, you're lying to me if you say that you don't have a random stuff drawer in your room because everyone has one. This one just has my sweatshirts and like my big jackets. Normally it's full, but I honestly don't know where these went. So, <laughs> all right, moving on over here. This is honestly my favorite part of my room. Well, one of my favorite parts of my room because my desk has been so unorganized before and like I had no organization, no decoration for my desk and I've turned things around for the better, let me tell you that. <laughs> so starting over here is my first real plant that I've gotten along with the one over here that I'm gonna talk about. But this one is just, what is it called? Devil's Ivy maybe? Honestly, I have no idea, but when it grows, it like starts to drape down, so I'm super excited for that. This pot is also from Ikea. Um, I got these both, both of these things from Ikea. This plant as well, and I haven't repotted it yet, so right now it's just stuck in there, which is why it looks really small in this big pot. <laughs> but I really need to repot it. 
really need to. But yeah, this baby's growing. This leaf is brand new. It came out from this right here and I have seen it grow ever since and it's the cutest thing ever. And it's actually the cutest thing ever. And I am so happy I finally got a real plant because it's just so like therapeutic to see things grow and like new leaves to come on. It's the best thing ever and it makes me so happy. <laughs> so right next to it, I have this little mirror, which I really needed a little mirror for my makeup. So I went to Walmart <laughs> and found a little makeup mirror. This was like $10 at Walmart and it does the job. I didn't really need one that had like the vanity um, light around it because I usually just do my makeup during the day anyways when I use my window natural light for that. So this was perfect, super cheap. I also got this little makeup organizer at Walmart as well. It was actually like a hair style organizer or whatever. So like they had like a hair dryer in here and like a straightener right here, stuff like that. And I was like, no, I don't need it for that. It's literally perfect for my makeup. It holds all my makeup in here. This is literally all the makeup I have because it's all that I use. So I don't really tend to get more things that I need usually, which is something that I'm proud of myself. Like I don't hoard a lot of makeup because I know I only use specific things is my everyday makeup stuff moving over here I just have my home nutrition supplements right there there'll be a video coming soon about that I can't really say much about it yet but it is a brand deal with this brand and so far I'm loving it I will have more information about that coming soon so Stay tuned. <laughs> Next to this, I have another one of my little new babies. She's from Ikea as well, along with this woven um, planter here. So cute. I'm not really sure what this one is called, but I think it was really cute too because this one also drapes down once it grows a little more. Right here, I just have a mason jar full of like my hair stuff. So these are like hair scarves. I usually have scrunchies and stuff in here too. Not sure where they are right now. So that just has my hair scarves. This little Buddha right here, I actually made um, like senior year of high school in ceramics and it has like random stuff in there that I don't really need, but I just need to put somewhere. So that's super cute. I'm literally obsessed with that Buddha and I'm so proud of myself for making that. It's one of my favorite things ever in my room because you can't find it anywhere else so um and then this wooden piece right here is from ross underwords underwords is that even a word what you know what i'm trying to say underneath oh my gosh i am <laughs> I swear I'm intelligent. Okay, yeah, this is from Ross. It's just like a piece of wood. Literally could have got this for free if I like were to go out in nature, but I decided to buy it for $10 at Ross. <laughs> this desk is from Walmart. This was in like my last room tour video. I've had this desk since my last house as well. It served me good and not really much else to say about it. So underneath, I just keep like all my textbooks for school and stuff because this is where I normally do my homework. Back there, I have some random stuff that I don't really know. This bag right here just keeps like all my beach and like tanning stuff in it. Um, like my sunscreens and my um, tanning oils and tanning lotions and face lotion and stuff like that. When you go to the beach or the pool and that basket just has like a bunch of random, you know, just life stuff. Stuff where I can't really put anywhere else. <laughs> this chair Kikoa actually got me also from Walmart and it's comfy. It was from Walmart, literally like $25 I think. So can't really get any better than that. So that is my desk and I love her. She's so cute and has come such a long way. So right next to my desk is my mirror that has been the love of my life for so long now. This mirror is from Ross. It was like $60. I got it a couple houses ago as well. So I've had it for quite a while and it's just the perfect mirror. It's ginormous and I got it originally because my room before didn't have a large mirror like this. So, so the fact that I actually have this mirror now, I don't really need this giant mirror, but it's so helpful still. And I just you know love having giant mirrors so yeah this little blessed sign is from michael's i got this a couple years ago as well um like during christmas time but it's just stayed there for so long and it always stays above my mirror no matter how many times i move beneath it is a little fur rug this is from ross i'm pretty sure also a few houses ago so it's been quite a while my friend and if you can see a little like pea spot yeah blame the new puppy i don't really want to show you that too close because it's kind of gross and and it's a stain and I've cleaned it many times and it's still stained so and then that's just my charger that's hooked in behind so now on to my bed area here's just an 
overview of my bed. I love it. She's also come such a long way and I love her a lot. This comforter is from TJ Maxx and it's the cutest thing ever. I paid a little too much for it for being from TJ Maxx, but look at these tassels, man. Like you can't say no to these tassels. And I'd be lying if I said that they look like this all the time and that I didn't just go and push them all down right now before this video. But it also came with these like pillow shams, which also have the little tassels on them. So cute. I'm a sucker for white comforters and pillowcases and stuff like that. So this was a score. <laughs> these two pillows right here, they're just these like velvety throw pillows super cheap they're also from world market i think ten dollars each or like nine something each and they just add like a lot of color to my room honestly because my room's kind of plain but yeah it adds a lot of it just adds like a pop of color and these colors look really cute together and i'm like obsessed with burnt orange right now and always so had to buy those and then right next to my mirror above my bed is my macrame this is actually from Amazon and it was super cheap. I think like $20 for this very large one. Loki looks like top ramen I've heard from multiple people, but I think that can be fixed if I just like flat iron it um <laughs> But yeah, it's super cute and I really wanted a macrame for my room. I don't really know anything about them, but I just think they're cute. So it was cute on my wall. All right. The reason this room tour took so long to be filmed is because I had this blank space in the middle of my wall for so long and I had no idea what to put on it until I went onto Amazon and I bought these little LED lights. They're so cute. This is a little star and a moon. I light them up at night and they're just so cute at night, like lit up right above my bed and they're adorable, super cute addition to my room and yeah i don't think many people like have these in their room or like know about them but big room tour tip get some led lights for your room they had so many different shapes and stuff so you don't have to get these there are definitely many more um my two hanging plants right there those are both from no that one is from TJ Maxx. That one is from Home Good. They're just these really cute hanging plants and my boyfriend and my dad hooked them up up there. So hopefully they stay because uh, they didn't really know what they were doing low key. <sighs> But yeah, funny story, when my dad was hanging them up, he's like, but Lauren, like, when you water them, it's just gonna drip all over your bed, so like, why would you hang them above your bed? And I was like, dad, they're fake. So, fooled one person, he thought they were real. Right next to it is this random window that is so annoying and so ugly, and I really wish it wasn't there, but it's like a window to the kitchen. It's like right above the sink in the kitchen. It's just so weird. Long story. Yeah, this room is like an add-on that wasn't here before, which is why this is hooked to the kitchen kitchen and this is also like a door with a window on it because this originally was like outside you know but they just added a little room on moving over here i just have these three shelves from amazon and right now that one has nothing on it because my camera actually sits up there <laughs> but i'm filming on it right now so we're just gonna act like it's not there but this little hanging plant is also from ikea this is so cute and it just literally adds so much character to my room i feel like and i love this plant i kind of want to get more but yeah, it's really cute. And then this vase is also from, no, this vase is from World Market. Next to that, I just have a little candle holder with a candle that's been in it literally forever. Don't even know what scent it is. I've never lit it. It's just stayed in there, but it's from Bath & Body Works. So that's all I can tell you really. <laughs> On this bottom shelf, I just have my devotional that my sister got me for my birthday a couple of years ago. Um, not gonna lie, I need to get better at reading this every morning. It's just so handy being right here and I've never taken it off the shelf. I really need to start reading it again. I'm bad. I, I'm so bad at this right now and I really need to get better. Next to it is my little mini Bible. She's so cute just sitting here and then I have another candle right here. This one's just a vanilla bean one. It's actually empty but it's sitting out here for decoration. So yeah. And then on my bed right here I just have some extra blankets because I don't really know where else to put them and they're just super soft, comfy, fluffy blankets that I can use if I get extra cold during the day. I mean during the night. Lastly is my little little laundry basket. This is literally the cutest thing ever and probably one of the best investments I've made. This is from Ikea. It was like $40 I think but it's so different having like a laundry basket that's actually cute than just like a plastic one that you get from Walmart. No offense literally if you have one in your room I, I couldn't care less. 
this, but I just think it's so cute and such a cute addition. I've had like plastic white ones my whole entire life and I just thought I'd, you know, spice things up a little and get a little bamboo one. I don't really know what it's called. And then here's my fan because it's been so hot this summer and I gotta have a fan or else I'll probably melt to death. But this is my room. Here's a little quick overview again. Like I said before, I'll have everything linked in the description box as to where I got everything. So make sure you check down there and yeah. Thank you so much for reaching this point in the video, which is the end of the video. Hopefully you watched the whole thing. If you didn't, um, not judging, but why wouldn't you watch the whole thing? But yeah, so if you watch till the end, you obviously care enough to know where the heck I've been. Lauren, where have you been? Why haven't you been posting? Why haven't you been interacting at all with YouTube or anything in that nature? I'm sorry guys, I'm literally just so busy right now with school and I didn't think I would be so busy with school and work, but I am. And taking the time to actually like film quality videos for you guys and edit them and get them uploaded on a certain time every week is actually really hard and I didn't expect it to be like this because every time I've posted before and had a posting schedule it was like really fun for me and it was so easy to come up with videos and just edit them and post them like during the summer when all I did was work but now that you added school into this whole situation like I'm just very stressed out very overwhelmed and I need to prioritize you know my schoolwork and all of the volunteers hours and stuff that I have to do for school working a job as well even though I don't work much during the week I still do work and it takes time away from me being able to do YouTube which is really sad but that is life college life I just hope you guys understand I don't want to tell you that I'm gonna be posting a certain day every week right now because it's just not not set in that way and I don't want to disappoint you if I don't get a video up on a certain day so as of right now I'm gonna be trying to post every Wednesday but that doesn't mean I'm going to be uploading every Wednesday because things are just so like out of order right now and it's just really hard for me to find like routine in my life right now and like finding time to um like film quality videos while still trying to find trying to find time to study for tests and do homework volunteer and stuff like that so it's just it's been a little bit a bit I can't talk right now it's been a little bit of a mess one thing I can promise you guys is that I'm trying and I really miss uploading and filming videos for you guys and it's like the one thing I love doing and I just haven't been able to do it so it's pretty sad for me but I hope you guys are sticking around and I'm not losing any of you because I appreciate you all so much and thank you so much for watching this video <coughs> I'm also still coughing after getting over a cold for the past five weeks and it's just not cool but anyways thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much and I will see you when I post next whenever that may be <laughs> bye guys